So what's going on guys, my name is Fantastical, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Elemental Sword on Shadows of Evil, which is Marath Zerugamot. So kicking things off, the very first thing you guys had to do before starting this is complete the Pack-a-Punch ritual. So if you have not done that, I will have a tutorial up on my channel for you guys to check out. Now once you've got the ritual out of the way, the first step in getting your sword is to decode the Arabic symbols. So in order to do this, uh, pretty much in the basement, on the wall, near the only cauldron that's down there, if you enter beast mode, you'll see nine symbols glowing on the wall. Three of the nine symbols have to be electrocuted and so in order to figure out which of these three symbols you're going to shock what you're going to do is travel on the train to all three districts it doesn't matter which train you take or where you take it just go to three of the districts from any location and pick a different one each time you get back on the train it doesn't matter which order you use again but uh, you're gonna go somewhere, and if you look out the window on the train, you will be able to see a glowing red hole in the wall with one of the three symbols you need on it. So if you can't see it right away, look out the front. It may actually be on the left, it may actually be on the right, who knows? For those of you that are playing with other players, this is your shot because uh, this is gonna be a little bit easier because you guys can work together, but basically just look forward and when you see a glowing red aura coming from any of the windows, you're going to look at that window and as quickly as you can, study that symbol. From my experience, if you go to the waterfront district from the canal district, you can see two of the three symbols. So you can get two and one on the left side and you only get to use the train three times per round. So try your best to quickly get a glance of the symbol as you pass by. I I know it's a bit fast, which is why I usually draw myself a little sketch as soon as I see it. And don't try to memorize the ones in this video because they do change each game, but it's pretty easy to do. And once you get all three symbols, head back to the basement and shock the symbols that you saw. Once you do this, the wall will disintegrate just like the temple did for the Pack-a-Punch and you'll see the sheath for all four swords. So pretty much for this next part, if you're playing with more than one person, every single person in the game is going to do these next steps. So don't wait for your friend to do everything. You actually have to participate in order to earn your sword. So once the sword chamber has been unlocked you're going to go up to it and it's going to say you can grab the apothecan egg so go ahead and do that now the way that this egg part works is very similar to the moon capsule so pretty much what you're going to do is place your egg on statues they're like cthulhu statues which i'll show the location in a second and you're going to kill the zombies to kind of get souls and fill the egg. If you're playing with multiple players, then you guys can actually place your eggs individually on the same statue and work on one spot together. But getting into the locations for the statues, the first one is going to be located at the Footlight District, so head over there. And right next to the gumball machine in that alleyway, you will see either a statue or crate, depending on how you've used your beast mode. But if you see a crate, break it open and place down your egg, and you're going to have to fill up the statue. Now, one tip that I've got for the harder locations like this one is to train your zombies elsewhere, and then you're gonna bring them over here so they aren't spawning everywhere. Alternatively, you could hoard them up and shoot a single boy of the Apothecan Servant, which I made a video about here on my channel, and the Apothecan Servant will actually fill the egg up in one shot for that statue. So once you've done the egg there, uh, it will glow, so grab it. The next location is the Waterfront District. So go up the stairs, near whatever perk machine is there and in what I call dead man's corner, you're going to have to put your egg down on that statue and go ahead and fill it. Again, the Apothecan Servant is an ideal weapon to have for these and it makes it so, so much simpler. But if you can't really get the part for the Servant or you're just not getting Xenomatter as one of the parts, what I recommend doing is training them up by the train station at the Waterfront District. Then bring them down from the back gate. As I promise you, they will spawn from both passageways 10 out of 10 times if you come from that bridge. But after that one is done, grab the egg and we can move right along. The next statue is located in the canal district all the way at the last bridge to the left. So go over there and place your egg. And so it's basically the same thing. Run circles, drag zombies past, and then the fireflies, margwas, and fire wraps, or meatballs as I like to call them, do not count as they don't have souls because they are not human. So the idea is to fill the egg with human souls. And once that egg is filled, we can move on to the last statue, which is literally right next to the sword's chamber. I saved that for last because it's the easiest. So uh, down in the basement, put down the egg, and you should have no problem filling this one up. It's just so, so simple. And once all four statues are finished, grab your egg and you can go up to the sword chamber and grab the elemental sword. And it's as easy as that. Now this sword can be used by pressing the back two bumpers, whatever console you're playing on, but essentially it works as a specialist, just like multiplayer if you guys played the beta. You use it and the bar goes down, then you kill the zombies and the bar goes back up. You can't use it until it's full, but you can put it away after short use and the bar will be easier to fill the next time you go for it. So uh, you can either shock the zombies with lightning with the sword, or you can swing away with the epicness that is Morath Zoragamot, or 
whatever you want to pronounce it. It's some crazy name. This thing is perfect for slaying Margos, but there is a way to upgrade the sword. So if you guys would like to know how to upgrade the Morath Zoragama, then head over to my channel and I'll have a tutorial up in a bit if it's not already up. And yeah, that is how you get the elemental sword on Shadows of Evil. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I've got tons of tons of videos and guides for you guys. Have an awesome day, everybody, and stay fantastic.